Let's go ahead first. Hello, everybody. I'm Adrian, and welcome to Inside Byte. In this tutorial, following the previous um, chapter in our NiFi um, series, we're going to talk about NiFi registry. And what is it? What's the use case for NiFi registry? As the image implies here, it helps us with the uh, software development life cycle. You're going to have to design it, implement it, test it, deploy it, and monitor. In the past with NiFi, you have this concept of uh, templates where you can move your flows from one side to another. And in this case, you're developing in development environment. Uh, and then uh, you were testing and doing more, let's say, in-depth uh, testing your staging or, or your pre-prod using, let's say, close to production data. And then finally, when you're happy, you're going to ship it to production. Well, it's not easy to work with templates in iFi. Own to errors, um, you know, it, and you would not want your users to actually push their put their finger into production environment in iFi. That's where NiFi registry comes to our help. What is NiFi registry? It's a web-based application that has the purpose to manage shared resources. And when we say shared resources, in our case, these are the flow definitions that can be shared amongst multiple environments or multiple NiFi installation, either standalone or cluster side, cluster installation. Why do we need NiFi registry? Well, uh, designing a data flow in NiFi, it's, it's similar to writing code uh, in your preferred language. You need to define the logic or the algorithm that solves your problem in the most elegant and most efficient way. You may potentially test uh, different approaches uh, and work incrementally towards getting best outcome. So you need to keep track of all those changes over time and then navigate between them with ease. You, you don't want to have a, a list of templates with timestamp attached to them and then you have to import, export, uh, and then test them individually. Well, with, with your NiFi registry, you can shuffle between your versions simply from the UI using NiFi registry as your backend. Uh, we would say that it's similar to a Git approach. We have a Git repository in the backend and you can have, you have versioning control enabled and stuff, but it's a bit different. Once you're happy with your design, let's say you went through your dev and staging and hey, you're happy with design and now you validate the performance of your flow against your staging cluster where you have relative amounts of data compared to production, uh, then you're going to promote it to production uh, without any stress. So uh, the exchange, so for example, you have a flow in your NiFi registry that has uh, user and password to connect to a JDBC connection. Now moving from dev into staging, if you use hard-coded um, user passwords, user and passwords, then that might be an issue because it's a shared resource here uh, and you don't want to have any, let's say, sensitive data. So that's where we employ uh, the um, parameter context, uh, files, and also variables in, in our system of choice. All right, so we talked about what we're going to go over. Now let's go ahead and install uh, NiFi registry and link three installation of NiFi and see how we can actually leverage NiFi registry to move a developed flow from development environment to pre-prod and then finally in prod. Before we go and do that, let's go over some terms that uh, we're going to use during this tutorial. So we have the flow. The flow in our case is going to be a process group level, a process group in NiFi uh, that has been placed under a version control and it will be uh, saved in our NiFi registry. We have a bundle. A bundle is an artifact containing one or more extension that can be run in NiFi or Minify in this case. We have a bucket. 
uh, a bucket in NIFAR registry represents a container where we will organize our flows and our bundles. Let's say, for example, let's think about it as a project. You have the policies in, in NIFAR registry, which allow us to define what user has access to what uh, bucket or perform what action. What action. Great. Now we know what NIFI registry is. In the next video, follow up the link in the top description. We're going to see how we're going to install it and how we can link it to our three nodes that we have in that diagram. Before I forget, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any comments or if you have any requests, drop them in the comments below. And if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.